and welcome to another video. Today we're in the woods chasing the fog. But as you can see, it's already lifted quite a bit. But that doesn't stop me. There's some great shots here and some wonderful, wonderful fungus. Well, I'm pleased to say that there is fog in the woods. It's not a lot, but I think there's enough. And this makes all the difference. Now to find something interesting. Bracken has turned quite a bit. I don't really want to be in conifer. I don't think I do anyway. Let's come back. Oh, mushrooms. Lots of mushrooms. Oh, spite for choice. I've got the macro lens, so maybe I'll do something with that. And let's think about that later. After the, the mist has lifted a little. Here and now I've got to try and make something of this, of this mist. I'm not seeing it at the minute. This is all kind of straight lines up and down. Okay, there might be a shot through the bracken into these conifers. Nice straight up and down atmosphere shot. Look further down. Or... Oh, yeah. The light streaming through is gorgeous, but I don't know it's a shot. Get that lens hood off before it disintegrates because it's begun to come apart and I need a dab of super glue to hold it back together. I love this bag, but it's, it's often packed to the gills and it needs, well, I need the bigger one. Right, let's have a look. What can we frame up here? I don't think this is a good shot at all. Sun is in the top left hand corner streaming through. I need to underexpose this and just do it run a test shot. F3.2 just to throw everything out of focus that's not the subject. 3.5, just make sure the subject's all in focus because it's a bit round, even four. Let's see what happens. Oh, I didn't, didn't spot it was an HDR, heck. There we go. Let's try that one shot. The meter is exposing for the bright highlight behind. I don't think that's, I don't think it's going to work at all. So you probably won't see this. Oh heck, no! You'll see it just because I shot it. But it's not a good shot. It's not a good shot at all. I'm certain I'm going to get some nice woodland detail shots here. It's just a case of doing those later. I've got to do those well after the I've lost the opportunity for mist oh mist the mist shall we say so down here is heading kind of out of the woodland well to the edge I suppose every <laughs> every direction is heading to the edge isn't it that's nice through there There's no subject, but we've got a line. So it's just it's a little more dense here. The fog, that is, not the, not the wood. Two conifers that bolt upright. Yeah, they're as, they're as straight as you like. I don't know whether it's a nothing shot or not. And behind them, the light is streaming through. 25th of a second, f4.5, focused on one of the trees. Lots of light streaming through behind. Bracket in it. Hey, fingers crossed. That is a good shot and I hope you like it. Let me know in the comments.
I just kind of got off the beaten track a bit, I suppose, feeling what you need to do a bit more in woodland sometimes. Oh, anyway. And I, I just spied from a, a short way away this tree stump. It's not particularly catching any light, but there's light, bits of pockets of light behind it. But the stump itself is quite interesting. So I've just got a quick shot of that in the as a, a, a portrait style. That in the lower third, uh, and um, at a, uh, a pretty wide open aperture to throw the background further out because we are losing the mist. I mean, it's. <laughs> It's perhaps not so obvious that way, but yeah, the, the mist is going. But anyway, I quite like this shot in the back of the camera. I'm going to show it to you regardless, and uh, I hope you like it. Let me know in the comments. Well, as so often happens, the back of the camera lied. Didn't look so good as a portrait, so here it is as a square crop. wandering through the woods as you do looking for compositions and I'm struggling a little I've got a composition here that I found still got some mist as you can see in the video here and I've got a tripod set up low here let's get down a little and just looking down a path in the woods got some bracken on the left hand side here let's put this into video Hold on. There we go. So, got some bracken down the left hand side as you can see. Video aspect ratio is going to be different from the, uh, from the, the final picture. Uh, but let's not worry about that too much. Bracken down the left hand side, three times I've said that now. Path running through and leading the eye. Leading the eye, kind of almost out of shot actually. Uh, because the path just creeps off to the right hand side of shot. Maybe I need to pull this around and sun streaming through creating beautiful beautiful rays of light I'm gonna just <laughs> move that around slightly I think let's pull that more to here and come around so that path is perhaps a little bit more in the shot, I don't know. I've run off a couple of these beforehand, so this may not be the shot that you see. Right, Ooh, my knees, my knees do not like bending like that. Uh, ever since a child, they haven't liked bending like that. I'll get terrible cramp. Right, touch focus there. That's three shots and different exposures, uh, base exposures F8 at 80 and Touch focus in the background. Again, F8 to 80. That's six shots that I'm going to merge and focus stack. And yeah, I hope it's a good shot. Uh, let me know what you think of it. And uh, yeah, moving on. The fog and mist has, has gone now. It's only being picked up where the sun is kind of directly pushing through it and highlighting the moisture particles in the air. So the, the atmospheric shots are only straight into the sun. Also, because there's so little of it left, it's only really managing to kind of penetrate at the edges of the woodland. And most of the edges of the woodland are coniferous. It's not until you kind of get into some of the deeper pockets that you find some beach and uh, there's quite a few horse chestnuts here. In actual fact, I keep seeing lots of horse chestnut casings. There's some oak, but not a great deal. The oak is further uh, down the other side of the, the woodland, again, close to the edge, and there's not a lot of it. Uh, well, not that I found anyway. I found paths today that I haven't discovered before, but I don't think I'm gonna stay here now um, and get woodland scenes as such I'm gonna what I'm gonna do is pick up some detail shots because there's a lot of those and there's mushrooms everywhere so there'll be some mushroom shots coming up I'm sure of that and uh, yeah that's what's gonna happen next oh don't forget if you're enjoying this 
click the like button. It helps the channel immensely. Thank you. And subscribe as well. Don't forget to subscribe. I might have finally found something of interest to shoot here, woodland-wise as well, uh, rather than just detail. Most of the mist is gone, um, so uh, there's not a lot there. But down here, I'm not, I think it might be an oak. I haven't got close enough yet. It's just, I found a tree that isn't straight. <laughs> it's nice. And it's getting some light on it as well, a bit of side light. And this is quite nice here. And the, uh, the, the path dips down as well. So I can get a bit of depth to it here. Uh, I'm gonna wander on, see whether there is anything here. Ah, yes, I think there could be something here. This is nice now. Some dappled light coming through. Yeah, I think there's something here. I think I found a composition just looking down here. There's the, the faintest hint of mist or just haze the further down we go. When I got here, there was some light hitting this, some nice side light hitting parts of it. It's gone now and I didn't get a shot before I set the video camera up. I don't know whether that's a good or a bad thing. I think I quite like the, the shot. I'm going to have to move around a little bit because there's a, a young tree here and the twigs are just getting in the way on the left hand side of the shot. Yeah, I'm going to just come somewhere lower and see whether I can not get those in. I can't see them on the screen, but they are. Yeah, they're out of the way now. The sun's coming back through again. Not a lot of it, but enough just to create that little bit of interest. It's framed by the two trees on either side here. I'm focusing on the tree to the left. We've got some balance because there's breathing space on either side of the tree. We're putting this into a, uh, a bracket and our base exposure is a tenth of a second at f8. And I'm just going to tap the screen for this because I don't want to jog it in any way, shape or form with the shutter button. Review those. I think actually the base shot, uh, which is according to the camera, the stop under exposed, I think that's probably the best one. Anyway, here it comes, I hope you like it. I found a nice little clearing. It's, uh, it's very pleasant. Slightly on the incline, or the bottom of an incline. And fungi, mushrooms everywhere, it's lovely. Let me just come down here. So we've got, <laughs> we've got these here coming out of this tree stump. And there's quite a lot of them. This one here, creeping. Very annoyingly, there's a, the more lesser spotted. Uh, I've wiped my ass toilet tissue discarded here. This really pisses me off. What is wrong with people? What the fuck is wrong with people? What first grabbed my attention was this wonderful clump. But also, not that I, I probably could get a really nice macro photo of it, but it looks like ice, but it's not. Maybe someone out there can tell me precisely what that is. It's obviously a fungus of some description. But just in this small area, uh, there's quite a lot of fungal shooting to be had. So for this little cluster on the ground here, because it's so low and there's so many other things around to disturb, I've just put the camera straight on the ground. I've set focus stacking, in-camera focus stacking, but I want more shots out of it uh, than the camera will give me in focus like itself. It will only give me 15. And I've kept the 12 to 40 on here because I don't need um, macro on this. It will focus this close. So I've got 
a focus stack of 30 images. I know that's too many with the focus differential I've set, but I'm going to stack them uh, later on in the computer. And uh, I hope you like this shot. I've barely moved from this spot. In fact, I have moved from this clearing for an hour and a half, perhaps. And every time I turn around, there's another mushroom. It's, it's wonderful. So while I was shooting some other fungus behind me on the, uh, on the chopped down tree, just turned around and there's another one. In fact, there's a beautiful little one down, down here that I've already captured. And oh, my knees are killing me. It's really hard for me. And two beautiful ones just sticking out of this fallen tree here. And it's, they're, they're, they're just glorious. They're just peeking up, wonderful bit of uh, conifer foliage around them. I think it's a cracking shot. Take a look at this. What I spotted, oh, let's put these on. Uh, new glasses. Uh, I can see it better now. Uh, what I spotted, because the sun's been hitting it for a little while, but I should have come here earlier to, to shoot this while, uh, while there was light on it. Just this one here. <laughs> I don't know whether I can get it in. Sure, I'm sure I can now. Just that little one there, picking up some light. And it's completely on its own here. So that's the next one to, to come and shoot for me. So for this, Little white mushroom here. I've set up a <laughs> covered in muck. Uh, uh, a white light coming in over here, just giving it a tiny bit of light and pointing just into the background. I've set the light to green at 100%. Obviously, we're in daylight, so yeah, it's not making well, it is making a difference, that's why it's there, but it's not making a massive difference because these aren't huge lights, obviously. And for reference, these are Ulanzi UL49 RGB lights. They are brilliant. Link to them down below. The green light behind, I've... Let's just adjust. If I tilt it too far, we get green light on the mushroom, which we don't want. What we're just getting, see how it's coming in at the background there as I move it away. It's just providing a bit of colour and light at the background there. I think I've got a couple of cracking shots out of this. Anyway, I hope you like them. Let me know in the comments, and if you're liking the video, click that thumbs up like button. Thank you. I just keep turning around and there's more mushrooms. I'm not doing a close-up on this one. I've kept the macro lens on because uh, it's 60 mil and get a little, uh, little further away with it. I just didn't want to change the lens. And don't ever go at me for having a tripod like this. Why, why haven't I put the sensor column back in? Because I get the shot like that. I know I could. Don't ever go. I am just being lazy. We've got a mushroom just down here. It's come up beside a fallen twig. Just quite a nice little setting to it. Just entirely natural lighting. Simple enough little woodland detail shot. Relatively shallow focus that, uh, on it. And I think it's rather nice. I'm going 
going to head back to the car and uh, we know there's some detail shots and such that can be had there. I'm probably 20 minutes walk or so away. Thank <laughs> you.